Hello everyone, I am Rashan from Global Techs. Today, in this video, I am going to give you a demonstration on PrestoShop Udo Connector application from Global Techs. I have already installed the application for you. You can go to the apps, search for GT. Here you can see the application has already been installed. After the installation, we would have to create instance. Let's go to the settings. Click on PrestoShop instance and then click on create more instance. We would first give the PrestaShop instance name that is PrestaShop instance. Now after this, we would select the company. In our case, my company. And then we will select the version that is 1.7. Now we will get the API URL over here. Let's just copy paste the URL and remove the last part that is en. And then after that, we will Copy paste the web services key that is provided to us by PrestaShop and then we will select the shipping product. In configuration, we will map the product by product ID and after that we would select the web warehouse as my company and then we will click on create. Now you can see the instance created by going into the PrestaShop dashboard, configuration and then PrestaShop instances. Now you can see the instance created. Here you can test the instance for connection by clicking on test. Here you go. After the successful connection you would have to create a pressure shop by clicking on create pressure shop. Now a shop has been created for us. We can see the same shop by going to configuration and then shops. Here is the shop with all the inf other informations. Now let's import products from Presta Shop to Odoo. Let's first see the product in the Odoo. Here are the products, the categories, their attributes, the attribute values and the product variants. Now we will go to Presta Shop and see the products over there. Here are the products in the Presta Shop. As, as you can see there are a lot of products over here. Now we will import all of this to Odoo. We will go to operations and we will first select the instance that we created and after that we will click on import and we will first import the product attributes. We will select the product attributes and click on execute. Once this is done we will again go to the operations. We will now import categories by the same way and after this we will import the products. Here you go, select the import products and click on execute. Last but not the least, we will import the inventory. Once this is done, all the products from Presta Shop will be imported to Odoo. With all the product attributes, here are the products. As you can see, all of the products have been imported. Now, the categories, the attributes, the attribute values and the product variants. Create a product from Odoo and then see it in Presta Shop. Here is the product cheese in Odoo. Now we will see the same product in Presta Shop. Here also it is cheese. Now we will update the name of the product in Odoo. Let's say Parmesan cheese. Once this is done, we will click on update on Presta Shop and then we will save it. And after this, we will go to operations, click on update, click on update product data and then click on execute. After a few seconds, you can see the product been updated. Just have to refresh the page. Here you see Parmesan cheese. Now let's export product from Odoo to PrestaShop. Before that, let us create a product. Let's say iPhone 12. Now select the product type as storable. Now give the attribute as color, select any three colors as of now, let's say gray, then red and then black. Now save the product, go back to the variants, give the internal references for each of the product. For gray color we will give IP12G. Now we will go back and give the same to the rest of them. 
Now let's say for red we will give IP 12 R and then for black we will give IP 12 B. Once this is done we will go back and then we will give the on hand quantities. Let's go to the on hand, click on create, select the product, give the content quantity, let's say 500 and then we will select the next product that is grey we will give the quantity and then we will select the last product that is red and then we will give the counted quantity that is 300 now we will click on apply for each of them and we will go back and see the final product with the internal references the variant values and their quantity on hand now we will export this to PrestaShop Let's go to the operations, click on export, click on export products variants and then click on execute. We will also have to export the product inventory, go to operations and then click on export, click on export product inventory and then click on execute. Wait for a few seconds and then you will be able to see the product with the inventory and the variants in PrestaShop. Refresh the page and you can see the iPhone 12 product with the variants. That's it for the video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do let us know in the comment sections if you have any queries and click on the bell icon for more updates.